And so Joe, pop in here. Um, what's your opinion on telesales versus face to face? Um, what's easier? What what should the average agent do you think they should be doing? Um, you know, they both have their pros and cons. They both have their slew of problems. Um, I do believe that an agent should go with their instinct on what they want to do and they should be all in. I def definitely believe it's the, it's the, um, it's the old saying the, the grass is not greener on the other side. The grass is just greener where you water it. So you need to water it and you need to ball be all in, um, face to face. Like you're doing a lot of driving. You're in situations that, you know, if you're not, so the thing is with face to face, um, you have to be in a space where you're, you're just willing to go to these situations because you want to help these people. Tell us, I'm not saying tele sales people don't want to help them. I'm just saying like to go to bad neighborhoods, certain communities that you don't want to go to in order to put up with that. Well, you have to have a, a heart to want to, to, to want to deal with that, to help the people. Um, face to face. I mean, I'm telesales. You know, here's the thing about telesales. I want to say a pro about it because I don't want to just, you know, obviously I'm a face-to-face -face guy. I think that when telesales, there's an opportunity to make like astronomical money because you can really make the numbers work for you. Like you can talk to so many people. The drive time is not there. But one thing about telesales that I think that just to be transparent that people need to know to set themselves straight is, you know, it sounds good to work from home and be there and be able to just, but here's the thing, tell us, and I was, and this thing, I was in call center work for 15 years and it was more appointment setting. It wasn't really, it did a little telesales, but that is a grind. Like you don't have time to be doing stuff. It is ring, 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 10 hours a day. And I will tell you that regard, and this is a big reason why David is successful is because the work he puts in, but I will tell you telesales or face-to-face, -face, you got to put in the work, man. You, it, we're talking 50, 60 hours a week, and we're talking working well into the evening. Face-to-face -face people, three out of five nights a week, your last door knock at earliest needs to be about 7.30 at night or later. And just because the sun's going down at 6 p.m. doesn't give you any reason to stop. You need to be going to like seven. Right. But I will tell you, a telesales person, three out of five nights a week, you, you should be dialing until 9 p.m., until the legal time, until the buzzard. So it is... It, both have their pros and cons. Um, you just have to go with what your gut says. If you're not comfortable being out there, driving around, doing your thing, then don't do it. Um, if you're not comfortable door knocking, don't do it. Because I will tell you face-to-face, -face, our most effective weapon is door knocking in this day and age. Right. Or none. That is our. And so if you want to shy away from door knocking, don't door knock. Um, but telesales, I, I can see definitely some pros in it you just have to know what you're getting into and i will say if i was able to make a six-figure income and sit there and dial in my living room all day that actually doesn't sound too bad but it's like what are you willing to go through to to get to that right right so, and that's what it always is it's, it's going to be the same thing it's going to be a lot of time a lot of effort a lot of focus yeah. you just got to play the game to your advantage right and that's why we talk so much about the pros and the cons of either because not because one's better than the other but we don't want you to fail out like most agents do if you want to become a top earning final expense agent, whether you're doing face to face or telesales, find out more at DavidDuford.com. You can get training from yours truly over at DavidDuford.com. Apply now and find out more. We'll see you then.